Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm back with another league racing video and it's gonna be a little bit different. This week might have been my worst league racing week ever as I had four races on Baku, Singapore, Monza and Abu Dhabi and I'm gonna show you how they went. Hopefully <laughs> you guys learn from it. <laughs> Uh, just like I uh, I will learn from it watching it all back and yeah, I'm gonna s start by saying they didn't go good so don't expect the best racing um, Starting off with Baku with PSGL Quali went pretty well actually we ended up in fourth place with a 38.3 still three tenths of my PB, but um, looking at Baku in the actual qualifying session, it's pretty hard to hook up a lap with the uh, wall, so and it's pretty dangerous, of course. So I was pretty happy with that lap. We're starting in fourth, uh, which is pretty good for me without the line right now. So I was happy with it. Uh, straight away, going down the inside of Marcel and getting up to third place after the first corner already, um, and. Starting off at Baku, you, you just want to survive, honestly, that, that was the aim, uh, just surviving and we did that until lap 4, where I almost ran into Lewis, we went a little bit wide, we got a warning and now Marcel is going to be on the back of us and here we also just go really wide, we have a lot of understeer and I asked Jeff if I had damage and at that point uh, Marcel was already really close and yeah I wasn't planning to fight it this hard this early in the race so I just let him go and now moving on to lap 6 in the meantime Milan spun so we were only with the three of us and we ran away and then I made this mistake I broke way too late so I wouldn't be, wouldn't be, be able to make that corner so I just went to the left side and at that point I just went into the pits and went on to the hearts and now we're around a lot of medium runners who started on the medium and here as you saw we just scraped the wall there so I actually thought ah oh, shit I might have got damaged but I, I didn't think so but it was just a scratch so we asked Jeff and he says we don't have damage and then here we take a line oh, it's just <sighs> and then we asked Jeff and we have front wing damage so yeah at this point we have damage we're on the hearts and yeah we're just really slow so Lewis I don't think he made a mistake and then he caught up to me on the mediums because it, he bit it a little bit later you can also do a soft medium here and he was all over me and I just let him through here because yeah it wasn't <laughs> uh, we would have ended in a ball if I continued it uh, like that but I stayed out because it's Baku and there's a really high chance of safety car so I just thought let's go I'm in 8th place let's stay out and wait for a safety car and a safety car came in lap 11 uh, so we pit and we remove our front wing damage and we go onto the mediums and a lot of the medium runners at that point went to the hearts and went to the end on the hearts and obviously the mediums are going to be the way better tire um, so we're going to be a lot faster than all of the hard guys ahead of us so we still have a, lo a good chance in this race uh, to get back onto the podium straight away getting past Kev who ran a, ran a bit wide and Wrench here getting out of shape and I can also pass him getting up to 7th place already and Ananas, Ananas on the hearts in front of us uh, is gonna hold us up but Wrench on the mediums is trying to find a way through and yeah he senses on our inside and we leave a lot of space and we have to let him go there so in the meantime Wrench uh, got past the hard runner Ananas and we do the same in lap 15 and so we're up to 7th place already and now we're gonna try and follow Wrench through the field and up there's old wine and wrench already got past him so we're gonna try and do the same here and he got DRS already uh, on wrench so I had to use a lot of overtake to get close but I think we were running lower lower wings and we still got past here we get into the slipstream of wrench and we break late and we break too late and we run into the back of wrench and yeah I gotta yeah I gotta apologize for that clearly my fault like yeah I can give excuses that I just turned off my line but that's just a stupid mistake uh, one of the many mistakes I made this race but yeah what else can you do then keep on racing after that um, 
so we get past old wine after that and it's now lap 17 and we're still in the medium run uh, mediums and moving on to lap 20 we got a big gap behind us and some people crashed or something happened in front of us maybe at the, they had the pit but we were up to third and then in lap 20 that happens <laughs> uh, we get front wing damage again so luckily there was a big gap behind us so the only guy who got through was Ananas and you can see the gap in the top left and it's lap 26 the last lap going into the castle section we break too late and I really honestly didn't feel like I was taking the corner uh, in a different way but uh, yeah you can clearly see we there's no front wing left and now we only have a couple of corners left still big gap behind us so we're trying to not still get get finish this race and we break too late here our tires lock up and we hit the curb and because there's no front wing there's yeah you just lose so much downforce and um, we DNF in the end after yeah, so many mistakes of ourselves uh, but a lot a lot we, we learned and also some positives to take from that race uh, so moving on to the next race on Singapore there were only 13 people in this race but some really good people and so we started on the mediums and here you can see in the last corner we invalidate that lap and it would have been a 35.358 which would have put us uh, just about in fourth place but lead medium runner uh, which is really good on Singapore but yeah we're gonna have to start last uh, after that mistake so uh, on Singapore as well a uh, big chance of collisions and safety cars even though there were only 13 people um, so we're gonna get we're trying to just be take it safe and nothing happened honestly until lap 11 where uh, I lost touch with Jonah but the guys ahead uh, had a big gap because of the first couple of laps um, some soft runner was going really slow something happened some people fought and it ended up with a big gap in front of us but luckily in lap 11 a VSC gets deployed so me and Jona in front of me we pit and we go to the mediums that can go easily to the end from here so yeah we undercut a lot of the people who started on the mediums and another safety car gets deployed in lap 23 we do have three seconds but we're in sixth place and we're not looking too bad even though nothing happened <laughs> at this point really nothing happened and we're still behind uh, Yona and the safety car restart was really uh, early so yeah, we lost a little bit of touch but we got back into the DRS this point having six seconds uh, yeah, making some mistakes and our controller dies so <laughs> trying to reconnect the controller uh, and we're gonna look behind us and we're just in front of zero and look at where Yona is after one corner the AI is so so bad so luckily we don't lose a position but we lost a big gap and in the meantime Baraka got overtaken by the two people ahead of me by the two Red Bulls and he was going really slow and even though I had six seconds yeah, I, f I felt like it would have been dumb to just stay behind. I didn't want to fight it even that hard. So here, uh, I let him defend and I let him at the corner. So it was it was all good. Some decent defending. Like I wasn't planning to sit behind him on purpose, you know. Um, like I wasn't even trying to def fight hard. But then, then this is going to happen. So going up to the hairpin, um, I wasn't planning to make this bo dive bomb. But... He breaks really early and he opens the gap and then yeah we just we just go for the gap and he, he turns in on us and then here I thought let's put on the DRS and we have the pace and we go for it uh, I tried to go for a dummy because it looked like his trajectory was going to the left of the side as well as the, the, the next corner is going to be on the left and there's a little kink in the road so he goes to the right and yeah I take both of us out or well he takes both, both of us out uh, I don't know he also made some aggressive moves there but as attacker I know uh, I should have gotten maybe 
maybe <laughs> stay just just on the easy job and go to the left but yeah uh, I tried to go for a move and it was too late for me to back out so I was already on the right side and then he yeah oh well just a shame um, just a shame and we're gonna see what the stewards think of that but and next time I will be uh, a little bit more cautious so moving on to the next race in race stars uh, this is a Dutch league I mean and I, I, I honestly don't take it that serious so I never uh, you know, I usually don't try to qualify uh, on the grid and I don't practice for it so um, we start last almost last and we're gonna start on the mediums and just again not trying to get caught up in a collision as we touch the grass almost lose the car and we also tap our teammate in the back and look at, at the teammate and this avatauri touch each other and we almost uh, have a collision but luckily nothing happens and if yes she also gets the point straight away uh, we didn't get damage from it and then later that lap the VSC gets continued Nick gets a good run on us and I also knew that he was he was doing the same thing as me starting last and he was uh, he's usually a little bit faster as well that I don't have the line right now <laughs> I'm not even I'm not able to compete with him and then you can see something happened in front of Nick and well I lost my front wing so I stayed out a little bit longer waiting for a safety car and a safety car comes so we're on the mediums where we pitted to the hearts and then back to the mediums to end the race on these medium tires but it's lap six so they're gonna be uh, well not in the best shape at the end as we make a move on two people straight away after the safety car um, which was nice we tap our party in front of us here but we get a better exit so I'm gonna try and make the move straight away put on our overtake and we have way more speed he doesn't defend the inside so we can go to the inside and here we just have to break at our normal point and then the corner is ours so we're up to 13th place in lap 6 and yeah I was still hopeful <laughs> as another safety car gets deployed after a couple of laps so a lot of people pitted to the mediums and we stay out and we move up to 6th place after that and we're gonna try to make another move on two people here uh, these people are on the hearts and we can't make the move or can we we go around the outside of Joshua and it's a nice move up to fifth place and this Mercedes makes a mistake <laughs> we move up to fourth place uh, and we get close to the, to the other Mercedes and the safety car gets deployed again as it's lap 13 so you can easily go to the end on the soft but I thought a lot of people wouldn't even pit so let's just go on the mediums and then I have a lot of people behind me uh, to defend me from the soft runners but uh, that wasn't really the case because the couple of people uh, already got passed in the first lap Nick was way quicker on those soft tires even though he had a penalty I already thought he was gonna run away yeah as you can see the gap is already really high and Joshua also getting past me but then he made a mistake in lap 21 so we are second place and we're going into the last lap yet again and look what happens yeah normally you break at the 100 meter board but this time I just forgot about breaking or something and then I saw the 50 meter board suddenly uh, and then we break but it's way too late so we get a 5 second penalty and again in the last lap we make just a silly dumb concentration mistake and we move down to fourth place uh, yeah so <laughs> another great race uh, yeah with all the damage and so I, I yeah there were still some positives to take from the race made some nice moves but um, yeah not too happy but Abu Dhabi next we mess up qualification and we did a 35.2 while in practice my PB was a 34.4 so should have been at least in the top three top four but yeah my pace was nowhere in the qualifying and then we go into the race and we have a great start as you can see we straight away move up two places and then this Williams on our outside 
we can also get past him. So we move up to P5 after the first couple of corners. And then moving on to lap 3, we also get past Joe Royal here as we get the inside. But he does have DRS for the next straight, so it's always tricky. You have to use a lot of ERS to be able to defend from it. But we do get a good enough exit to stay ahead. Is he going to send it down our inside? No, he's going to the outside and we break at a good point and he has to stay behind us after that he spun. Uh, looked in the mirrors and well it wasn't my fault so he spun on his own then lap 5 look at the gap in the top left it's three seconds to trocker who's in second place now we pit in lap 5 and after that lap after our out lap uh, we did an undercut of two and a half seconds and we got into the drs of l trocker who's the championship leader so it's crucial uh, that we're gonna follow him through the pack here uh, as we come up to his teammate are we going to the outside no we're gonna try and get our nose into the inside there's just a little bit of a gap and we don't have that much speed advantage we break a little later and we make a nice move on the other ferrari now moving on to lap eight where you can see the williams pitting who stayed out really long on the softs um, and i don't know what happened in the meantime then here ah oh. We make another dumb mistake and yeah so there was a, a, a retirement and there was not a safety car yet then I break at my normal point and with the DRS it was a little bit late and because they were going so slow I just run into the back of them and I actually thought at that point that nothing would happen and then yeah I do this shit I was being I was trying to be really patient after that restart and in this really little train uh, trying to not have things like that happen uh, but yeah we make another mistake but it's lap 16 or it's lap 13 and we're in 16th place and we're still gonna not give up and try and get some points in this race so look at all these people fighting we are gonna try and find a gap but there's not really a place we can go here so um, <laughs> almost the Alpine almost gets rid of the Ferrari and uh really weird way and here on the outside I decided to back out of it because yeah it was really close and Joe Royal goes for a big scent on the Alfa Romeo so we can go around him and get the move on him um, taking advantage of the mistakes of other people so it's a really nice move then up to lap 14 the next lap uh, again in this hairpin trying to do, take a different line this time and get a better exit on this big straight here as we do get a better exit than Alfa Romeo as he is not really losing a lot of speed though and it's a double slipstream fest and we get past the Alpine but this corner is gonna arrive so we break early and someone was on our inside suddenly so I saw him on the inside and then we take this corner and the Ferrari taps the Alfa Romeo he taps me I got damage and Somehow we tangled up uh, and I got front wing damage yet again. Uh, and uh, at this point, yeah, I, I was feeling so shit like lap 14 and yeah, it's just uh, just shit. And then we come up to Kazoo and we were in a party with him. He lets us by, really nice of him. Um, and another person spins so this gave me a little bit of hope to still go on and fight to get some positions and then this guy i have no clue what happened there but uh, we have to avoid hitting him and then this guy we touch but yeah we stay in 12th place after that and uh, someone had front wing damage still really trying to get close to people and get some points here um, as we move on to lap 21 and we make a big mistake there on the exit so Boba Fett is on the softs and he's way faster so I uh, yeah he just goes for a stupid move I was really pissed after that and I do that the spin after that was my own fault but I really don't know what else what he was thinking there so yeah uh, yeah so uh, yeah at this point I was I was so pissed and a safety car gets deployed 
and you can see <laughs> we get a drive-through penalty because I was just not not paying any attention and then here uh, I was just trying to I was just gonna finish the race and I was looking at my phone uh, trying to burn some fuel so here I was looking down on my phone and then uh, of all the people I gave Kazoo in front of me five seconds and front wing damage also ruining his race and I just retired after that and yeah what a what a week of racing this just was the worst, maybe the worst to end it so it makes it all feel a little bit more worse uh, at the end Chiquito my teammate uh, finished first but with the penalty Trocker finished first so he, get, he got a bigger uh, championship lead and um, yeah a lot from a lot to learn from this video i hope you guys enjoyed it though uh, and uh, in the screen right now you're gonna see another league racing video which went a little bit better uh go ahead and watch that and i'll see you guys next time